Watch Mitchell Dillman Steel and Woodworking on Amazon Fire TV. All right, got two of these. Hey, check it out. We got us a new tool. It's a cannibal from cannibaltools.com. It's made to cut sheet metal. And it's a good thing. It's perfect timing. We're going to be set up today to start some more sheet metal art. Let's get this thing hooked up to our drill. Put it through its paces. Let's see how this works. That's probably all I need right there. All right, you can see this sets up to a regular drill. It's just got a gear in there that causes this punch to go up and down. It just nibbles out the metal little by little as we drive through it. Let's take a look. Man, that cuts through this 18 gauge like it's butter. It doesn't leave any burrs, doesn't bend it at all. I think I'm gonna like this tool. Let's go see what else they sent us. Let's take a look. Yup, replacement parts. Oh, a circle cutting die. How about that? Circle cutting attachment. This is gonna be fun. Looks like we can mount it. So if you've watched any of my sheet metal art for beginners videos, you'll know that I've been using tin snips, sheet metal shear, and my angle grinder with a cutoff disc to cut my sheet metal. I think this tool right here is going to replace all three of those. So they sent us this clamp system that quickly turns your drill and the cannibal into a stationary tool. Check this out. So we've been commissioned for a cool little art piece. I need to get all the parts cut. This is the tool we need. Let's get over there, we'll sketch up what we need, get back over here and get them cut. So here's the template that I've already cut out with my metal shear. And you can see the first thing you'll notice is how this shear, as you're cutting that radius, it leaves this really bad bent edge. That's where this is going to come in handy. Follow that around. Sheet metal's fun. So before we get started on this one, I'm gonna take time to, couple drops of oil. Anytime you're cutting metal, you wanna keep everything lubricated. So I'm gonna put a couple drops right here, and then I'm just gonna spread a couple out right down the line that we're cutting off. So we were getting a little bit of a challenge with these getting loose. I think this will solve it. But real quick, I think we're gonna find a place to permanently mount these so that when we need to use it, it's all set up and ready to go. <laughs> Man, that sure was a lot easier than using that old sheet metal shear. I want you to come take a look at this. This is the difference between these two tools. You can see here, when it comes to cutting sheet metal, the cannibal is the way to go. So be sure to go check out the cannibal at cannibaltools.com. 
I appreciate you taking time to watch this video today. Be sure to click subscribe. And if you want to learn more about sheet metal art, be sure to watch our series, Sheet Metal Art for Beginners. Come back this same time next week. We'll have this project in the works. We're getting ready for the big art show. So be sure to mark your calendars to come see me next weekend, the 14th and 15th, for the Pikes Peak Studio Tours. I'm going to be here live in my shop. There's 16 other local artists involved, all at their studios. It's going to be a fun time, lots of great art. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.